In this video, I'm going to show how to change the transmission fluid in the Honda Odyssey. This is a 2010 Honda Odyssey and uh, it might be very similar for the the year ranges. Uh, this is probably applicable for 2008 to 2010 and possibly newer. So what I'm going to use is I always use the ATF fluid, automatic transmission fluid from Honda and uh, since you are doing it along uh, yourself you might uh, want to spend the money on the Honda ATF fluid. This is DW1. I'll put the uh, links to buy it. So it's not very difficult. You have to lift the uh, the uh, car up in the front and get access to it and also there is the you can see the bolt right there that's what you need to open up at some point to fill it out fill it up so that's where the uh, the bolt is and the drain bolt is below the engine I will show I'm going to uh, lift up the the front of the minivan and there is a jacking point right here you can see right at this hook this is a three ton heavy duty jack from Harbor Freight you will find the reviews on my channel and this does raise it up quite a bit so what I want to do is I can I want to raise it up where the wheels are off the ground I'm going to put the jack stands underneath so these are the jacking points on just behind the front tires you will find this one and on the other side so you should make sure that you have jack stands holding it and not on the jack itself uh, before you get under the car so I have lowered it on the jack stands just make sure that the jack stands are securely holding it and I also leave the leave the uh, jack itself so but you don't want to rely on just the jack and the other jack stand is also there before I open the drain in the bottom I'm going to open this bolt which is the filler uh, bolt because if you have problems with the filler bolt you don't want to drain the transmission and I'm going to use um, 11 16 socket here so and uh, you need a little long extension so I have two extensions here and I'm going to put it on the bolt The transmission drain bolt is located sideways so this is the front of the car and you can see right here is the bolt and you can just use a 3 by 8 socket in my case it was quite tight and my 3 by 8 wrench uh, didn't do it so I put a longer bar and I used a, a um, half inch to 3 by 4 connector and then I had to use some force and it came on or it came off so I'm going to let it drain
if you have not changed your transmission fluid they recommend every 45,000 miles so I had changed it once and now it has a little over 90,000 miles so I'll let it drain I'm going to clean the the bolt there should there might be a little bit of debris in the in this uh, magnet here and I'll check if the bolt is still good this looks so still good the threads are fine I'm going to put it back in so just make sure that there is a washer right here and you can change the washer if it doesn't look good uh, for my case it was not leaking at all so I'll take a chance and put the same washer you can buy a spare washer and and replace it though make sure that it is threaded all the way You should tighten it to at least 55 foot pounds but I would tighten it as much as I can with hand I won't use any power tools at this point I'm going to lower the car to, to fill the transmission fluid it's good to have a long funnel so I have a long pointy funnel here and you can use one of these but you have to be careful because this goes right in that hole if you can see it where the bolt was even this long funnel is very difficult to get in so i'm going to do is i have a smaller funnel and i'm going to squeeze the smaller funnel first and put it in the hole So there is no chances of leaking and then I'm going to point this funnel into the longer funnel so that way you can see I'm basically chaining two funnels the transmission dipstick is hiding right here you see the yellow one and this is the front of the car and so you can remove the dipstick and you can see there is no oil right now I'm going to pour the transmission fluid it will take a 3.4 or I would say I have bought four of these quarts so it's probably going to be not full four quarts and I will fill it up at least three quarts and then check the dipstick and fill some more you can see my funnel in the bottom is helping I'm going to check the dipstick and see how how far it has so that looks to be good pretty above the two dots in the um, co uh, hot so I'll just leave it and run it for a little bit and see if I need to and you should check it after you run it maybe for your first trip or second trip check it again and uh, fill it up if needed I'm going to put the bolt back in into the fill up port just make sure that the washer is in there and I would start with the hand tightening tightening and then Thank you. 
then I will use the uh, 11 by 16 or number 17 so there it goes so hope you like the video if you um, have any comments you can comment on the video and also subscribe to my channel I have other videos on the Honda and also uh, other home related videos